Hello, Vlad here from Model Theme. Since we had such a great response from our NFT Marketplace series, we're bringing you more tutorials and walkthroughs for our plugins and themes. Today we talk about our Restrict Content by NFT plugin, which will allow you to show your special premium content only to people that have bought your NFT or your NFTs. This plugin is a great addition to your website and it's one of the many practical uses for NFTs, so let's see what it's all about. First, let's go through the key features. It is compatible with any WordPress post type, like WooCommerce products, post pages, NFT listings, etc. It has support for multiple blockchains. It is also compatible with our MetaMask Authenticator add-on. It can require multiple NFTs to view content. You can hide or show pages based on NFT ownership. It's perfect for showing content at a price, a paywall if you will. It is super easy to install and set up, and we've worked really hard to make it as fast as lightning and easy to use. It is of course translatable and WPML ready, and it has a responsive layout, because we all know 70 to 80% of all traffic was from mobile devices. Before you install the Restrict Content by NFT plugin, there is a prerequisite. You have to have installed and configured the NFT Core add-on, and one or both of the MetaMask Authenticator plugin or the Wallet Connect Authenticator plugin. Now, back to our dashboard, we head over to the sidebar, to the Plugins tab, and click the Add New option. Next, click on the Upload Plugin button in the top of the page. The options to choose file appear, so we click it. We navigate to the location where we downloaded the plugin from ThemeForest and select it, click the Open button and then the Install Now button. Once we get the plugin installed successfully prompt, we proceed to activate the plugin by clicking the aptly named button. We see that the plugin is indeed activated, so we scroll down the left sidebar to the empty plugins tab, where we find our authenticator plugins installed as well as the restrict content by NFT plugin. That's the one we click to configure it. Now, in the configuration page, we see that, in our case, both the MetaMask Authenticator and the Wallet Connect Authenticator are both installed and configured correctly. As a side note, in order to be able to use the Restrict Content by NFT, you have to have one or both of them installed. We have videos describing how to properly do that if you're having difficulties configuring them. To start, we head over to the Manage API option, and we happen upon an empty list that we must populate. So we click the Add New button. The form has three fields. The name field is not important, but it is recommended that you use an easy to understand name that describes the purpose in order to be able to identify it down the road. I'll name mine Polygon Mainnet API. To fill the URL and API key, we have to retrieve the information from a blockchain explorer. So we open a new search tab and do a quick Google search for the following query. Polygon API Blockchain Explorer. The first result is usually the one we're looking for, so we access it. A Blockchain Explorer for the Polygon blockchain opens, and we look for the API settings. So we head over to the More option in the menu, under Developers, and we find the API option. We go into the Documentation section, because that's where the information usually is, this being a rather technical matter. This particular network requires that we create an account with them, so we do just that. Now we're logged in, and in the dashboard we go to the API Keys option and click on the Add New button to create an API key. We'll give it a name so that we can identify it later, and click the Continue button. We get this string of characters, which is our API key, that we copy, and then we paste it in the API key field in the configuration form of our plugin. For the URL field, we head back to the documentation of the blockchain network and look for the Endpoint URL option. That's where we'll find what we're looking for, the URL for the mainnet API. So we copied the link and pasted it into the URL field in our configuration form. Once all the fields are filled, 
click on the submit button and the blockchain and its API is configured for our website. So now, in the manage NFTs tab, it's time to add the NFTs that will allow access to content. We'll use, as an example, an NFT that we own and an NFT that we do not. So click on the add new button, we get another three fields that identify our assets. The first is the name. As the field suggests, use a nice name, one that you'll recognize. I'll add an NFT that I own, hence the name. I have my contract address from the Blockchain Explorer and select the blockchain from the dropdown. We only have one now, but if you configure it for other blockchain networks, they will appear in the list. So we have all the information required, so we hit submit. Next, we're gonna change the last letter of the contract address. We do this to have an NFT that we do not own and probably doesn't even exist. Next, change the name and hit submit. Now we have in the list an NFT that we own and one that we don't. Right now, using these two NFTs, we can block WordPress pages, WooCommerce products or NFT listings if we have an NFT marketplace. If you need to hide a widget or some other type of content, there is a shortcut that you can use and it is described in the plugin documentation. But I'm going to show you how it works on a WordPress page. So we head over to the Post tab in your left sidebar and click All Posts. We will edit the Hello World page and in the right sidebar we see all the options for the post such as the visibility etc. Down here we have the Restrict Content by NFT tab and there are two options. Require NFT restricts the content, in this case the Hello World post, only to the users owning the selected NFT from the list. So I click the NFT that I own to select it and then hit update. Then I want to view the post and I get a restricted message because the MetaMask wallet that I'm currently using does not have ownership of the NFT required. If we scroll down, we get instruction on how to bypass the restriction. One thing to do is to confirm this wallet address does not own the NFT with that contract address. So we go back into the Blockchain Explorer and look for the wallet address. The result confirms that we do not, in fact, own the required NFT in the wallet. So to fix that, I'll connect my WordPress account to my Wallet Connect account. Now, even though I have the required NFT in my Wallet Connect account, I still cannot see the content. This is because, as highlighted here, we refresh the status every five minutes. Five minutes later. So now we hit the refresh button and ta-da! we have a restricted content visible only to the NFT owner. Now I'm sure you have a lot of questions, so please, don't hesitate to post them in the comments, my team will gladly answer them. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content regarding our products. See you next time, cheers!